Good evening. Welcome back to the Columbia Basin Hobby YouTube channel. Tonight I'm changing up a few things. I am going to take the Fusion SC out of my WL Toys 104 104026. Take that out of here because I'm um, have something else that I'm coming that's coming to the channel once I get it in and I can boost the BEC in this up to 7.4 volt instead of 6 um, and I want to run um, a servo that I have up a little bit higher so I'm gonna get rid of this take this out of here and I am gonna try I have never tried I'm going to try a brushless outrunner. Uh, this is secure 36, 25, 1800 KV. So it's the same KV as the, the Fusion. And then a secure um, ESC Cape 32, 70 amp. Um, you can evidently up this BEC, but for the life of me, I could not get in there and yeah, camera's not wanting to focus on. I'm supposed to solder some things to change the BEC. Well, yeah, I'm still only getting five volts out of it. So we're just gonna go from there. I'm gonna put this in here and go from there and see what we can do. So, anyways, I uh, will be right back and we'll. Start taking this. All right, let's take this out of here. Never run an outrunner before. It seems to be really nice and smooth from the reviews I've seen on it, but we'll go from there. We'll see. How do I want to put that in? So we'll go in there. Will I go in that one? Tightening motor up here. Sit back in there again. And I'll put my ESC over there. Take my 13 tooth off of that. And put it on there. there.
All right, that sounds good. Now let's Put it on this side. I want to put it on that side. Figure out where I want to mount this thing. Maybe I will mount it right there. Where do I want to mount my ESC? there because I can't get any thicker. Could put it over right here. Get a little extension for that. And then I can put my battery around. <clears throat> so let's go that way. Oh, of course, I can't. No, but that's going to interfere. come back I'll see if I can figure out where I want to mount this ESC and we'll come back and we'll see how this goes alrighty well I decided mounted it right there that's good and solid kind of tied the wiring up over here let's plug this in I know I know I'm using the wrong connectors they do work. All right. Wowzers. That's got some slow crawl. Wow. Wowzers. Wow. Now let's see, will it actually, will it actually, not, not moving my throat, not moving my finger any, oh, it does have kind of an FOC, wow. Wowzers, definitely has some crawlability to it. Wow. I 
Ah, cool. All right. Huh? We've got some wheel speed. Yeah, alrighty. There we go. So there that is. Um, again, that's the secure uh, 1800. Um, oh, that's got some nice drag brake. Um, 1800 KB 3625 Outrunner with uh, ESC here. Um, so my Fusion. I will announce it now. I ordered up the new Vanquish H10 Optic Kit. So this is going in the kit. Um, so once I get the kit, like I said, those have just been released. I ordered them. Hopefully first part of December I'll get it. So I'll be doing a build video, build series on that. But the Fusion's going in it. I have I'm going to use one of my uh, Hexfly Torque Spec um, servos, which these are 25 kilogram at 6, 35 at 7.2, 7.4, and 45 at 8.4. So I was hoping to get this one to get up to like 8.2 and get my full 45, but like I said, this, I just couldn't solder the pieces. I just couldn't get them to solder. So anyways, uh, Vanquish H10 Optic is what this is all going in. Um, I don't know if I want to show the, the tires and wheels I got for it. It, uh, yeah, they're nice. So anyways, um, that'll wrap it up for this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and um, We'll go from there, and like I said, once I get my H10 Optic, I'll do an unboxing, and then I'm going to do a build series on it, building it up, because it's the kit version. So, hopefully, it's a good kit. We'll find out. It'll be my first uh, Vanquish ever that I've ever had. So, we'll go from there. Um, like I said, like, com comment, subscribe doesn't cost you anything to subscribe uh, and we will hope to see you at a later date. Bye.